Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me again today. As you can see, I have my scarf on um, because this is going to be a sounds of the season video for you and I hope that you will like it and it will relax you and uh, hopefully bring you a little holiday cheer. I have gathered some things um, from the holidays that are some of my favorite sounds and I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I do. So let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, actually, um, quickly before I do get started. My next video will be my Q&A video and I've been getting some amazing questions and some of them are actually like, I really have to think about them, so um, so this will be the last chance to ask some questions if you have them in the comments or you can message them to me if you don't want to leave them in the comments and my next video I will be answering the questions now, let's get started. So the first thing that I have is this Christmas tree. I'm not exactly sure what it's made of. It feels um, like almost like tinsel that's been like hairsprayed or something. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I think if you close your eyes. rain or light hail. On like a tin roof or something. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. And the base is made of a plastic. I like the way that the tapping sounds on it. I don't have very long nails, so it is difficult sometimes for me to tap on something <laughs> and get a good sound, but this 
material is pretty easily picked up. created a knot <laughs> in my tinsel. There we go. It's loved the holidays and Christmas time, but I know that some people aren't huge fans. So I'm sorry if you're one of those people and this is <laughs> completely about holidays. I was never allowed to have tinsel in my house when I was younger because my mom said that she had to vacuum too much. Um, but I think that she more meant like the tinsel that you take off individually, like the strands of it, which I totally agree there. I don't think I'd have it in my house either. The next item is probably one of my favorites as far as sound goes. Can you guess?
these this is from the like pack that you can buy that smells like cinnamon I love having the cinnamon pine cones around for the holidays it sort of smells like you're always baking even if you're never baking This particular one has some glitter glued to it in the fashion of pine trees. So it makes a good texture. where they make it and a few years in a row we would take field trips there to watch how they do it usually around Christmas time because they make ornaments and it's amazing it's, I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to see glass blowing you take the opportunity. It's so mesmerizing. And I bet it would actually make a great ASMR video. Maybe I'll look into that. And 
I also brought a wooden ornament. This is Santa with a little tree and some gifts. I like to fill my tree with lots of different ornaments. Truly, I'd rather clear lights and a theme, <laughs> but that's not very fun <laughs> for my daughter. This ornament also has a What would Christmas be, especially Christmas sounds, without some gift wrapping? So, I thought I could wrap a gift with you. This is a Play-Doh set. Sorry, a Play-Doh set. your child is gluten-free. This is not for lunch. I just highly, highly doubt that that was on our box of Play-Doh when we, well, as older people. <laughs> These may be the worst scissors on the planet, <laughs> and they're probably just about as old as I am, which you'll find out in the next video. <laughs> Plugging myself on my own channel, no shame. Um, some ribbon. Just go ahead and open that now so that I don't have to worry about it later. It might be a little more fun than just the 
I brought my wrapping paper I am going to change the camera angle so that you can see the wrapping of the sides. That was kind of really loud, so I'm not sure if that'll make the video. But we will see. And my floor is being very it over there and take a little piece. I usually end up like way over taping my gifts. There's also a lot of excess here on the sides, so I'm going to cut that off as well. This is probably not the way to do this, but honestly, this is the way I've done it forever. There's that. attempt 
a bow. There we go. Got it. And also what I do is snap. See, I told you these scissors don't cut. Okay. I snap the, um, the edges of the bows or the loops of the bows and then I pull to make them curly this reminds me of Elf when he wants two inch curls does anybody else watch that movie religiously during the holidays? Wondering, I 
eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. Then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof, as I drew in my head, and once turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight.